The Kristen Smart murder trial holds its first proceedings in Monterey County. News Channel reporter Dave Alley is in Salinas to wrap up today's events. More than two months after it was ruled this high profile trial would be moved out of San Luis Obispo County, it finally gets going here in Salinas, where several motions from both sides are expected to be presented this week. One of those on Monday included a motion to dismiss the case. Paul Flores defense attorney Robert Sanger asked Judge Jennifer O'Keefe to throw out the case based on, quote, outrageous government conduct. Judge O'Keefe, who has taken over the case now that it has moved to Salinas, denied the motion after hearing arguments from both sides. The motion centered on a recent seizure of a phone belonging to Susan Flores, Paul's mother, a woman that lives close to Susan Flores and is expected to be a witness in the upcoming trial, claimed Susan Flores had taken photos of her eight-year-old daughter and complained to police. Now, earlier in the day, the judge went over the rules and the format that will be used during the upcoming trial, which will utilize two separate juries, one each for Paul Flores, who was accused of killing Smart in 1996, and another for his father, Ruben Flores, who was charged with helping him cover up the alleged crime. Two separate verdicts will be decided in the case, both read at the same time. The judge said more than 1,500 prospective jurors will go through a screening process. Jury selection for Paul Flores begins June 20th and for Ruben Flores on June 27th. The trial is scheduled to start July 6th. The presentation of evidence gets going the next day on July 7th, and that begins what is going to be a very long trial, perhaps as long as four months. The judge said here on Monday she expects it to run all the way into October. Reporting in Salinas, I'm News Channel reporter Dave Alley.